This is Andrew Lean with Marlin Spike Consulting. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use document properties and fields in Microsoft Word. To insert a document property or a field into your Word document, first go to the Insert tab, then choose Quick Parts, and then either Document Property or Field. Document properties are properties of the document, so I'll insert Company. In this case it's the company name and that field is blank but I can populate that property right here in the Word document by just typing the name. So I'll type the name Marlin Spike Consulting. Now if I choose to insert that document property a second time, its value's already been populated and so that value is inserted into the Word document. Note that that's not the only place we can work with document properties. I can also go backstage by clicking File and then Info, and I have my document properties listed right here. So I could either change that here by typing a new value, let's say Acme Corporation, or I could look at the Advanced Properties box and I could change it here. In either case, once I've changed the document properties under the Info tab, now when I return to the document, the two examples of that document property that have been inserted into the document have updated as well. So the changes cascade throughout all the instances of the use of that field through the document. Now let's take a look at fields. If I go back to Quick Parts and choose Field, I can find a lot of things under Fields that are available elsewhere in Word. For example, the document properties that I just looked at are all found here under the Doc Property field. The case of the one I was using was Company, and now when I click that, I have a third example of my company name. A couple of other examples of that would be the Table of Contents or the Table of Authorities that I can insert by using buttons under my References tab, or right here under the Insert tab, I could insert a date, or I could insert a hyperlink those each have their own buttons here under the Insert tab. But there's some additional features that we can find here under Fields as well. For example, let's say you have a document that goes through a lot of different changes and you want to be certain of the date time uh, of the document that you're looking at. So you might look at a uh, save date, which would be the date and time that the document was last saved, which might show you which changes have been included in it. Or related to that would be the print date, which would show you the date and time stamp for when the document was last printed, if you were looking at a hard copy and wanted to know how up to date that was. So if I insert the print date, in this case I haven't printed the document so it doesn't actually show me a date, but I could put that say down in the footer of a document if I wanted to be able to look at a hard copy and always know when the date timestamp for when that was printed was. So that's how to insert fields and document properties into a Microsoft Word document.